Hello and welcome to Business Information Modeling, Enterprise-Wide Accounting Information Systems and Enterprise Information Modeling. I'm really looking forward to a semester in which you learn really tangible skills, useful skills that you can apply in your working life no matter what area you actually work in. These days we know that all enterprises, profit, non-profit, government, no matter what, run on computer-based information systems. Without these systems, these enterprises, no enterprise can actually function at all. So in this course, what we are going to do is to get to the heart of such systems. What really are the components in such systems? What makes them work? What makes them tick? And how are such systems built? From what I've just described, on the surface of it, it might seem like this is a technical course. But in reality, this course is not a technical course. It's a business course. But the fact that there's so much technology being used in business these days makes it imperative for all managers to understand the technical implications of all these systems. Because they are going to have to interact with people from technology to get such systems built and implemented. And therefore, they need to have a certain degree of understanding of these systems. And that's the intent of this course. This course, I would say, is not a technical course. It is really a business course. And for those accountants among you who are somewhat worried that a technology or an IT course is being thrust upon you when it's not relevant to your accounting focus at all, rest assured that this course is ext extremely relevant to what you need to do in your workplace. Uh, in fact, before teaching Enterprise-Wide Accounting Information Systems 2, which is a course that I developed, which of course I'm not teaching these days, and I've taken over Enterprise-Wide Accounting Information Systems 1 from last fall. So before I started teaching the sequence of Enterprise-Wide Accounting Information Systems courses, I actually attended a workshop conducted by the American Accounting Association. And what I'm teaching is very much in line with the curriculum that they recommend. So this is really an accounting information systems curriculum recommended by the American Accounting Association. So really there needs to be, uh, you need not really be worried in any sense that an irrelevant course is being forced upon you. Before setting you loose on the course material that's posted on Blackboard, I'd just like to stress one very important point. Think back to a time when you learned some useful skill, a skill that in some sense you own. Owning a skill is something that's very important. A skill or concepts or understanding of something that's very important. It has to be your own, not somebody else's that you're doing for, uh, you know, satisfying some other requirements. So think back to a time when you were learning a skill that you can now claim to own. For example, it might be a skill in a game, like learning how to hit a forehand topspin in tennis, or learning how to dribble a soccer ball or learning to play the piano, or learning a new language. All of these are challenging experiences where you literally alter the structure of your brain itself. And that doesn't happen easily. You have to do a lot of work to get that degree of understanding and ownership. In this course, we're going to be learning some important and subtle concepts and skills. And owning these concepts and skills is not going to be easy unless you put in the effort. Right? And as the instructor, it's imperative on me to create the conditions that enable you to put in the hard work to learn the skills. There's no point in me just presenting concepts and then leaving you there. I have to give you a lot of practice that will help you to internalize what you've learned. Therefore, in this course, every week you'll have considerable, considerable amount of work to complete. And these are designed for you to internalize the skills, right? Don't think of these as just, you know, grunt work, work that you're doing to satisfy me, the instructor. Not at all. I've designed all of the assignments and all of the hands-on work that you're doing in the course to help you to internalize the concepts. Most of the time, uh, in fact, you will have the answers available even as you're doing them or you'll get the answers immediately as, as soon as you complete the assignments. And also, don't get panicky if you make a few mistakes in the assignments. Because 
In my view of things, assignments are intended to reinforce what you've learned in class and therefore I fully expect you to make some mistakes in the assignments. That's not a problem at all because you're learning concepts, you're being challenged to apply those concepts and there's no doubt that we will make mistakes. Okay, so when it comes to grading the assignments, I'm going to look more at how much you have attempted, how much you have tried and not how much you got correct okay which of course doesn't mean that I'm encouraging you to just go and be sloppy on your assignments no because that will have a big impact when it comes to the tests because the assignments are designed to help you internalize the concepts and the tests will test your understanding of these concepts pretty deeply okay so it's up to you to do the assignments carefully and sincerely and all I'm trying to say here is don't get panicky, don't get frustrated, don't get tense uh, about the impact of the gray or on your grade if you make a few mistakes in the assignments. That should not be a problem. Okay, so there's a lot of hard work that you'll have to do during the course, but I promise you, if you put in that effort, at the end of the semester, you will have something valuable that you can apply in your working life. That's my promise to you. Okay, so uh, good luck with the course. The course material, of course, is all available on Blackboard, and I hope you enjoy the semester. Feel free to contact me for any help of any kind.